God may use the results of evil and suffering to build the moral and spiritual character of his people or to express fatherly discipline, Romans 5 verse 3, Hebrews 10 verse 35, 12 colon 4 dash 11. Courage is forged only through facing one's fears, just as steel must be refined by fire. For faith to grow, it often has to be tested by fire. God expresses more concern for his children than for their comfort. Therefore, God uses evil and suffering to facilitate the believer's moral and spiritual maturity. The Apostle Paul, who endured much evil and suffering, explains the relationship between suffering and character in Romans 5 verse 3, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. A loving earthly father disciplines his children. Though unpleasant at the time, discipline is crucial to a child's growth as a responsible person. God similarly allows evil and suffering to bring about discipline in the lives of his children. As the writer of Hebrews declares, endure hardship as discipline, God is treating you as sons, Hebrews 12 verse 7. The assuring guarantee for the Christian is that God does not allow evil and suffering to come into their lives without producing a greater good. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.